Alright, it's time for the weekly one-shot. But we're not doing it because, well, we don't need a reason. But if I had to give a reason, it would be because I just really want to play some FTL. Now we're back with Smash Hit Comedy into the airlock, and we're going to be starting a new game with today's captain, who is the monk from the chat. And they're going to select their ship, give it a name, choose a difficulty, and then we're going to blast off into space. I think we'll pick up some crew along the way, and we'll be hunky-dory. So I think they're talking about wanting the Federation cruiser. We don't have access to type C, so they're either going to go with type A or type B. Not a ship I use often, but we'll see how that one goes. What's it going to be? Okay, so the monk is saying they want to go with A-type Federation cruiser. Roger that. And they obviously don't know to tag me for uh, giving me information, so that makes everything a bit harder to read. What's it going to be? The hell's it going to be? Ha! <laughs> Worm is saying take B. Alright, Monk, what are you saying? What in the world are you saying? Call it the American Arrow. We can get that. We can get that. Beautiful. So, it starts off with four crew, which is pretty decent. Although, just to lay it out, you don't want the uh, the Type B one. They both have the artillery beam that you were talking about. In the end, it is up to you. They're saying hard mode as well, because go hard or go home. We've had some pretty good runs in the past. We had hard and normal both succeeding for our two previous ships. Same can't be said for the first one. Uh, you know, at least it was an honourable attempt. So, is all final for you here, Monk? Everybody's uh, laying it on Monk to pick Layout B. But it is Captain's choice, so make your decisions, Monk. And make them fast. Staying with Type A, bigger crew, more people to inspect the airlocks. Wow, going against what the audience wants. Who would have thought? Alright, so who are our crew members? I shortlisted some people, but immediately forgot about them, so if you want to be on the crew, make your name heard. So there is the monk as our captain. Long may they stay at the helm. And who else do we have in? Bugster3000 wants to be the rock guy, despite their stupid name. Bugster3000. Who else do we have in? Iron Relic is on the short list. They want to be... Well, they're not saying who, but that sounds pretty reasonable for the NG. Iron Relic. And we need one more. Dusty Girl is saying, can I be the Mantis? I strongly recall you very recently being on the team. So we're going to hand it over to Krebzig to be our Mantis. Alright, team looks great, we're golden, the American Arrow is go. Let's do this. So, we've all seen this a hundred times over. Oh, I'm trusting everything looks and sounds okay. If it doesn't, I'm sure you'll keep me right. Uh, data we carry, it's vital, blah blah blah, we know how this goes. So we start off with Burst Laser 2, which is a very good weapon. Firing off three shots for two power. And then we have the artillery beam that's not very friendly for boarding parties because it simply nukes the other ship. Ignores shields though, but it has a massive cooldown. Of course, if we don't want to use it, we can just power it down. It's kind of handy that way. So, Mantis on the engines, I guess, seems okay. Rock Boy on the shields. Yeah, this is a layout that I can get behind. Can't wait to get more crew though. Let's blast off. So first jump, couldn't ask for much better, we get some free rocket, a free drone part, and some extra scrap. I don't know what we're go uh, going to want to focus on here. I mean the artillery beam is pretty good to max out, but also pretty expensive. There's a lot to be said for getting more shields, and we certainly don't need more weapons at this early point. Federation cruiser is pretty nicely laid out. So first up, we have our first option here. We've picked up a refugee ship floating through the system, and it hasn't noticed us. Do we hail them, or do we ignore these refugees? Uh, 
Now it's up to our crew to make these decisions. Everybody gets one uh, one point, I suppose, to each decision, except for the captain who gets a bit more, because in the event of a deadlock, they get to make the crucial decision. Bugster is the only one hailing in, saying hail them. Not even the cap. No, no, the captain is saying hail them. Well, there we go. Well, they're happy to hear from us, and they're running low on supplies. They want to give us five rockets for a couple of fuel. Might seem like a good deal to some people, but we're not doing that. Not for fuel. That's something that you actually need. So, generally, all decisions go down to crew. If it's an economical decision, I will make it. And if there is a blue decision, we take that by default. Unless we have really good reason not to. So, Rebel, uh, Rebel Scout attacking an outpost. Are we going to intervene to defend, or are we going to avoid this conflict altogether? Looking at it, it has an ion blast that will eradicate our shields, and a small beam laser, which will probably give us a bit of havoc. But, worst case scenario, I can see them taking off a couple bits of hull. Captain insists that we intervene. Krebsik still does not understand the concept of tagging me so that I can actually read the chat. But Bugster does, and they say defend, so that's what we do. Seems that we have got yet another honorable team on our side, so let's nail down those weapons right from the start. Alright, so thankfully they cannot hit us anymore. Let's take down those... well, I guess the ability to dodge is more annoying. We will remove that, and then remove everything else. These guys are toast. You know what? We could just let uh, let everybody see how the artillery beam works. So instead, we're just going to smack that out. So they have a shield. Surely no beam will be able to penetrate this. Except for the mighty Federation cruiser artillery beam. And it is... It is... Go. Beautiful. Salvaging what we can. A couple of fuel, always great early on. And then these people are very thankful because they've been harassed, in their own words, non-stop. Now, extra shields is going to be very good for the, for the American Arrow. Got to stop calling it the cruiser here. Because if we can sit tight for 50 seconds, then this artillery beam is going to destroy pretty much everything. All we need is 50 scrap and some power to, well, power it. So that sounds pretty good to us. How does the RT beam aim? Randomly. Alright, we can check out some distressed bacon over here. We're going to do so. Because at least I get to navigate the map. So the distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire, and the repair crew can't approach without being fired on. They're looking to for help fixing or disabling it. Now if we help them, we have an NG team who can get that fixed up straight away. And our team seems to know that, they're insisting that we help them. So let's get that done. The NG is really good, remotely fixes the glitch. And they're thanking us by giving us fuel, rockets, and uh, extra scrap. Now if you try to fire at it, they'll either be very unimpressed, or you'll even get shot to shreds by the defenses itself. So I want those shields, we're getting those shields. And now, in a pinch, we can... Well, we could even turn off the burst laser and just hold out with our own shields. Let's keep it going. So, Jurens is asking if this is hard or normal. This is hard mode. So, we detect a rebel automated ship nearby. It's not engaging us. And check those shields. Unfortunately, they got rockets, and we have very little to defend ourselves against rockets. What really can you do about that? We either attack it, or we don't provoke it. That sensor station could have some good stuff for it. Uh, the Monk and Kreb both insisting that we attack the filthy robot. Uh, Iron Relic probably takes offense to that, being the artificial being on the ship. But we're going to take it down. No point having more than one of our shields up. Let's just hope we can dodge this. And... Well, I'll be damned. Yeah, the Monk and Krebsik make a great evasion team to dodge both of those blasts, so we remain with no damage whatsoever. We get our, uh, our little bit of scrap, and we have details of the whole system, which is awesome, means we can go to that Distress Bacon. And, ooh, Asteroid Field, we'll have the advantage there with our, uh, 
with our watsits. Yeah, those. Our double shields will see us through that, no problem. Scans show a remote settlement being blockaded by a pirate ship. The ship hastily messages you, stay out of this, or you'll be next. So are we going to move in to intervene? These new shields that we have ensure that they cannot penetrate us with those pathetic weapons that they have. Monk and Kreb, ever the fast ones, insist that we attack. We've got quite a lot of bloodlust on this team. Don't know where they get it from. But uh, we really don't need the artillery beam, but it's always nice to see it in action. Mm, well, just hold your breath, crew. This'll be fine. It's also good to get some extra dodging while you can. Yeah, we will power it up. I mean, really. I told you that holding your breath is an important part of being on my crew. But once we take down those uh, weapons of theirs, we won't need to hold our breath anymore. There, we have nothing to fear, so down with the shields, and up with the breathing. First laser 2 is just a sickeningly good weapon. Alright, we give up. We're terrible at this pirating thing anyway. We can either let them go for a very healthy amount of fuel for early on, and a modest amount of scrap, or... The question is, can we really forgive piracy? They cannot penetrate our shields, why are we not using oxygen? But why, why would you need to breathe when we can use more power to simply destroy our enemies? Iron Relic says that justice is non-negotiable, Krebsig also insisting that we do not accept surrender, and the monk weighing in as well, kill them. I think, for legal reasons, it will be the artillery beam that finishes them off. Yeah, let's check that. Wow, we are doing some incredible amount of dodging here. So we pick through the remains, we get a lot more scrap for our worries, but none of the fuel, and the settlement are reasonably happy, but they know that they'll be attacked another time. So that went good on the fu uh, good on the scrap, not so good in the fuel. Would be well worth getting some extra power, so we don't have to hold our breath next time that we want to activate double shields. Otherwise, we kill, we keep moving. Mm, there's not a lot of good uh, options for dancing around here. We're going to hit the exit real early. We could always double back to the exit after checking somewhere else, but these mm, we're in a bad spec, a uh, bad spot. Is this the first time playing FTL? Far from it, Korean Usher. So, we follow the distress, speak into a tiny asteroid belt, and there's a small ship struggling to maneuver. So, help! Our shields are down, we won't last long. Do we try to defend them with our own ship, or do we leave them to their own fate? Important question, because we don't have anything that'll really help us through this. No special plating, no teleportation for them. Uh, no any other things that can help. I think uh, like a defense drone can even save them. So Krebsik and Monk both insist that we try to shield them. In fact, we got a team that really likes to help others. Let's shield them with our own. And we try our best, but they explode. Well, at least we salvage a bit of uh, scrap from the whole situation. Can't tell if this has a way of going bottom right. No, it doesn't. Oh well, into the asteroid field. We've got our shields maxed out here. And we could always hold our breath if we want a bit of extra evasion. Sounds good to me. So what do we have? Oh my, a pirate ship was lying in wait all along. This is a little worrying though. They do have an ion cannon that could take down our shields. And a rocket that can do god knows what else. So essentially hold your breath, folks. Thankfully the asteroids are making their mark on their ship as well. Excellent dodging. Truly magnificent dodging. Alright, well, I don't want them taking any more pot shots at us. So they won't. And they don't need any shielding either. Utterly magnificent, Monk. There's a reason you're the captain. Alright, so they're going to try to escape. Good luck with that. They don't have any shields anymore. Yeah, 
Good luck with that one. They explode, we get what can only be termed a substantial amount of loot. And all is well. Six dodges from Monk and Krebsik already. With a, at best, 15, maybe 20% chance. It's pretty incredible. Alright, we have to go to the exit, sadly. It's really early to leave the first area, but what can you do? So what do we find? Uh, we scan various advertisements. They want to give us four rockets for one fuel. That's a pretty good deal, actually. Pretty damn good deal. We don't know if we're going to be using rockets in the future, but it's good to keep the options open. We'll make that trade. And there's no safe way of getting these and back without encountering the rebel fleet who will probably tear us a new one. And we don't really have the engine or the defenses to get through. So... Hmm... Fuel is more important though. Yes it is, but four rockets? That's pretty good for one fuel. We could make three jumps and head back to the exit, but we'd have to fight the rebel fleet. I turn to our crew and I say, do we want to explore a bit more before we uh, make our way to the exit? Do we want to live on the wild side or not? I mean, it's a decision that I should be making, but hey, it's up to the crew now. One jump, then evaluate again, Jake. Uh, no, when we do one jump, this is already going to be taken over, so then we'd be out of luck. When have Americans said no to more exploration? Rebel scum needs to be defeated anyway, high risk for maximum chance to help more people. Well, that's the spirit. We could do one, two, three and get back, or one, two, three and be okay, or even one, two, three, I'm not sure. We'll jump here and evaluate. Although there might be nothing. So, a small platform orbits near the beacon, and it's a refueling station of some sort. It's cheerily broadcasting reasonable prices and a spectrum of frequencies and languages. Do we dock with the refueling platform? Could be a trap, or do we ignore it altogether? If only we had super blast doors, which just makes this a laughable event. The monk wants to ignore, but Krebsig wants to refuel, so finally we've got a bit of tension inside the crew. Ooh. I mean, sure, we're not too bad for fuel, but more is always good. Okay, Bugster also wants to ignore, so as long as the captain and them want to- oh my. We've got two versus two here, with the captain wanting to ignore. And if the captain says ignore, well, unless they change their mind, we're going to be ignoring. I mean, sometimes this results in a little fight with some pirates. And I didn't think that our people could forgive piracy. Heavens to Betsy. Hmm. I gotta hand it to Monk. If nothing else, they stick to their guns. We're ignoring that refuel platform. So the exit beacon has now been taken over. And there's not a whole lot we can do about that. Uh, looks like we could... We could maybe make this jump, then this jump, then this jump? That's a huge maybe, though, and I'm willing to take it. We're going to be upgrading our uh, engines by the end of this. You detect a rebel scout and an attack approach to a small refueling outpost. The weapons are charged, but they're not firing. Do we intervene to defend this outpost, or do we avoid the conflict altogether? We intervene, says the captain, and does Krebsig, so we're defending this outpost today. I don't know who you are, but no one defies the rebel fleet. Uh, let's see, they got a stun, they got rockets again, so up that evasion. There's absolutely no need for extra shields here, of course. And let's remove their ability to hurt us. Oh! They got a cracking good shot on our, uh, our weapons there, which means we're kind of, uh, kind of in a pickle here. And now we can't evade. We can evade again. Show us what you made up. Oh, you did it again? How do you manage that? These are some incredible evasion strats. We're taking some damage, but it's not the end of the world here. 
unless you're this enemy ship, in which case it's the end of their world. They're going down. Incredible work, guys. And that's the end of them. Let's get some healing going on. So we get a huh, nice load of extra fuel and a ton of scrap pompous bastards expecting free service. So we'll heal up before we see the grim news of our return to the exit beacon. Back to your positions, everybody. You know, I never really consulted with the crew on what their jobs would be, but nobody has voiced any concern about it. The Monk and Krebsik are clearly exactly where they're meant to be. Bugster and Relic just getting on with their thing. Uh, Relic is good to be in the center because he can repair anything at a moment's notice. So we... The jammy buggers that we are, are able to uh, advance to the next place unstopped. We're going to need this uh, this extra FTL charge anyway, so we're going to bump this up twice. Expensive, yes, for engines at an early stage, but we're still doing it. So what are we faced with? A Federation encrypted signal is being broadcast from a nearby planet. Do we investigate, or do we think it's too much of a trap and we move on? Shouldn't Bugster be in the center to defend borders ASAP? He moves slowly. No, I'd rather have the engine in the center so that he can react to destruction swiftly. Uh, investigate and an away party is said. Off they go. We find an encrypted signal and shut it down because there's nothing to be had here. A crying shame, and now we have to make the incredibly dangerous jump back to something resembling civilization. I don't know where we're going to have to put our power into. Let's just hope for the best here. Probably into the engines to get the hell out of here unless we think we can take these guys on. So what are we facing off? We're facing off against Burst Mark II, which is three shots, and this thing, which is four shots and border party. Hmm... And they have an anti-ship battery. Our main concern is getting out of here. There's no point in returning fire. Uh, we also want to evade everything they're going to shoot at us. Alright, with that in mind, you're on the doors and you are holding over here. So we don't need somebody on that right now. Okay, unfortunate, but still, we can do this. Nice of them to only try and shoot us twice there, but that thing's going for the full shebang here. Amazing! It's simply amazing how you managed to dodge that. Alright, we're going to get our NG healed up because you don't know when that anti-ship battery is going to come along and uh, make everybody's life hell, particularly mine. Uh, we need all those shields that we can get. Okay, hold your breath, folks. Let's just hope this doesn't penetrate something that we... Oh, we miss! We miss the anti-ship battery and we dodge. Well, we don't miss it, we dodge it. What is with these insane dodge odds that people have right now? Okay, everybody, back to positions. Do your best to keep dodging everything. You, you did? That's the crazy thing. Alright, we are what they call out of here. I don't know how we managed that. These are the most deserved dice rolls ever. Yeah, I gotta hand it to you guys. What you did there was obscene. So, Zoltan controlled or Zoltan controlled? It might seem like an anti-choice, but it branches us off early on to these either three hostile sectors or two hostile and a friendly sector with the possibility of hitting Nebula or more civilian down the line. So, up or down, crew. The captain demands that we take the upper Zoltan. They believe they take the top. Not even a scratch. Although we have ourselves a new friend on board, let's go and make him feel ultra welcome. Great work, everybody. And that was well worth the detour. We got scrap, we got fuel. We got paid. Could always do with a touch more energy, though. We're riding some high-end high, uh, high -end stuff already. 
No extra crew, though. Always disappointing. But there's not much they would do other than man our sensors and doors. Not that that's any bad thing. So this is a trap. Let's not go there. Let's head on up. You don't have time to hail the Zoltan ship that was waiting at its beacon before it jumps away. They are a careful race. Not so careful that they wouldn't put on their distress beacons, though. Let's investigate. So the ship emitting the distress beacon messages you, Sorry to bother you, but we're out of fuel. We can't get out of this barren sector. Could you help us out? Do we give them the fuel? Or do we apologize, wish them luck, and continue on? It's a rock scout. I don't know what they'd give us. It might be scrap, it might be some upgrade, it might be a weapon, or it might be sector scans. Krebsig says we obviously help. Iron Relic also weighing in on that one. And Captain also, after some deliberation, gives them the fuel. Hmm, 22 scrap, that will buy the fuel back and then some, so not a complete waste. But we should really get some more power for the ship. Well, no, we'll, we'll hoard a bit right now. Stores are common in Zoltan, give them fuel. I did not know that. We admired the display of hundreds of glowing Zoltan performing delicate exterior work on a massive transport ship. Yeah, this is nice and all, but we would really like to uh, harvest some goodies. Oh, this pulsar is going to have something for us. A small rebel research station overlooks a pulsating star. Before you can react, a rebel ship spots you and moves in to attack. They will not be able to penetrate through our shields unless that uh, pulsar gives us a bad time. Oh, but they could also do that. Krebzig, show them what you're made of. You are made of fire, obviously. Lend him a hand, will you, monk? Well, actually, we might need your dodging capabilities here. Alright, what do I not want them doing? Not shooting us, for sure. Okay, that was convenient for us. That we managed to take down their weapons just before they took down our shields and weapons. These things really are imminent. Well, as long as we can keep shooting the heck out of them, we're good. Mm, I liked having shields, they were pretty good. <laughs> what is with these guys? They just kill everything. Alright, the victory for Tanner. Oh, a combat drone. I think we're going to want to keep that around. Drone control is so very useful. Truly incredible dodging once again. The monk leveling up at this early stage is just unheard of. Alright, what, what are they taking out? I kind of want those shields, so we're not going to hang around. Wait, what, what am I even saying? We are hanging around until our shields are back up, is what I should be saying. Mm, store would be nice, but we don't have enough scrap to get what we really want out of it. Like many areas in Zoltan space, the residents of the sector have prepared well for the Galactic War. The military here seems to have given up reasoning with foreigners, preferring instead to attack on sight. Well, they will never get through our shields with that, so we can be pretty... Pretty pleased. And with this incredible evasion chance we have. I don't even need to give you extra power here. You guys just dodge whatever, whenever. good opportunity for you to learn even more about dodging though, especially if Krebsig just gets one more dodge to his name. We could always check that medi bay though. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I will frequently forget about the artillery beam, let's be very careful if we get a boarding party. So we get, yeah, three fuel. We needed that for sure. 
kind of want that store for more fuel, but... Well, we could do a nebula stop and then go to the store. I mean, heavens knows what it has, but I want to know what it has. So, inside the nebula, you detect a rogue planet drifting through space. On its surface, a huge monolith visible at this distance, even to the naked eye. A Sultan Elder hails you from the planet. L through luck or intent, you have discovered the Great Eye. Look into its depths and receive your just desserts. Kreb and Monk both insist we go closer. I'm going to give the forewarning that this can kill a crew member, but we get closer anyway. You approach the planet and wait, but nothing happens. The Zoltan hail, and in the coming times, when a monolith speaks not with a man... He has no future, and must be left wanting. Well, that was nice, especially with the fact that they have more rockets, but hey. Divert everything to evasion. Krebsig, now is your time to shine. We want that extra evasion. ASAP. How does he do it? How does he continue to do it? This is amazing. Couldn't make it a hat trick, but I'm not bothered. Check those oxygens. Check that no ship. That's what we get for the Great Eye scorning us. Let's check out that store. We've got plenty of scrap now. What are we going to get other than fuel? Because we're probably going to get fuel. Scrap recovery arm is amazing. Utterly amazing. Drone recovery arm is amazing. Utterly amazing. Pike beam is amazing. Truly amazing. And we have crew that we will probably not buy. Okay, scrap recovery arm ensures 10% more scrap for the rest of the game, and that's a lot. And it's good for some events. And I can't say no to greed, so we're taking the scrap. Uh, we really want the fuel and fixing, since fixing is cheaper than it will ever be again. And it couldn't hurt to have 10 fuel. Nothing worth selling on this. Well, I mean, we don't use drones, so there's a reason for selling the attack drone. But there's also a reason for not selling the attack drone, so we're good as we are. We'll check out more and make our way towards the exit. Overhearing their conversation, it seems they need to take possession of an enemy ship intact. We could offer our services or leave them alone. It doesn't really matter because we are not equipped for taking a ship intact. So they'd probably look at us and go, nah, man, not happening. Well, we could do it. Krebsig wants us to offer our services. Bugster wants to leave. I mean, I think it just changes the dialogue here, but I can't be 100% sure. Leave them alone, Jake. Leave them alone. Very well, monkey. If they wanted your help, they would surely ask. Prepare to leave. Whilst we've had generally good luck, there's been a lot of nothing that we've jumped into. Which is always a bit saddening. We can make two nebula jumps and escape, or one regular, and I'm willing to risk the nebula. Tension is almost palatable, eh? There we go, it turns out to be a hiding place for a terrified rock crew taking refuge from the Zoltan border police. They're not risking us, and they can't get through our shields, so uh, too bad for that. Between Krebsig and Monk, they're going to dance circles around those things, but just in case, let's check that oxygen. Hmm, double oxygen. Some people's favorite type of oxygen. Sadly, though, setting fires won't save us here because they are rock people, so it's really a bit of a pointless endeavor to shoot it. At least Iron Relic finally gets a bit of experience on the shields.
Now I don't know if we're ever going to go with the boarding party on this one. Since this is a pretty good ship layout for pure destruction and uh, boarding party kind of goes against the artillery beam. But we'll see. We might not even get the opportunity to go that way. Three fuel is a beautiful, uh, beautiful payoff for making this slight distraction. Otherwise, there's nothing really worth or affordable to upgrade. Yeah, I saw piloting. Let's make our way out. So, you pick up an automated message from nearby space station. There appears to be a local shipwright that can perform emergency work on military ships. Do we inquire about their specialty or politely decline? I mean, for all we know, they're gonna put some weird weapon on us. Monk wants to inquire, as does Kreb, and they will upgrade our piloting for half price. It's an economical decision, so I'm making it. Improved piloting can really help with some events. So, Abandoned Sector, so we get to fight the Lanius, or the Mantis Homeworlds, so we get to fight the Manti. What's it gonna be? Damn, right, that was a good deal. Pretty much saved us 10 scrap, although... It's not 10 scrap I would have uh, spent early in the game, for sure. Okay, so Kreb and Bugster want the Abandoned. Relic want the Manti. Uh, Manius, um, Monk also wants the Lanius. And you're right, we are not equipped for dealing with borders right now. Well, not particularly well equipped. We'd probably get some better doors. The war tore through the civilian sector, and just recently even the few life signs that remained have begun blinking out. Rumours suggest the Lanius are responsible. Let's find out just how responsible as we tear through them. You arrive at the location of the stress signal, prepared for a fight, but at first glance it's entirely empty. A looping message describes how settlers have recently abandoned the area due to the Lanius threat. Nothing. What a bummer. Really, we are getting a lot of no-go jumps on this run. So we notice a number of Lanius ships absorbing a forward rebel base and its automated scouts. They don't seem to be aggressive, perhaps their desire for metal could prove to be useful. Do we try to use them to delay the rebels, or do we leave them alone? Now I'm not familiar with Lanius whatsoever, so I don't know what most of these uh, events do, but Krebsig wants to delay those rebels, as does Captain Monk and Bugster, so we are delaying. You try your best to convey the notion that the approaching rebel fleet has countless automated ships scouting for them, however, neither either the translation has failed or they're not interested. What a shame. The real shame is the absolute nothing we're getting here. Let's get more options rather than fewer. An unidentified ship is badly damaged and still being assaulted by a space pirate. The victim begins a distress message until the pirate cuts in and offers to split the bounty if you sit that bounty, eh? Do we take the bribe, or are we a hero who attacks pirates? Pirates with dual lasers and flak cannon, I might add, and flak cannon is really good. Monk wants to kill the pirates. Everybody's saying those pirates need to die. Flak cannon is dangerous. Boarding party of man... Uh, that's not a mantis at all. Alright, kill him. I'd rather not fight him there, but my options are few. Alright, we need to be able to dodge all that stuff coming in. Don't like their weapon system one bit. Okay, well at least they can only flack us now. seen that before. We shot flak right out of the sky. Interesting. Wow, we, we set their, their life on fire. Uh, we could take advantage of that. However, they have rock people, so they'll be able to take that out. 
But what if they had no... Uh... Alright, forget you uh, artillery beams. What if they had no oxygen? Okay, this fire is killing the ship. Fine, our previous offer was not generous enough. Let's improve it. Uh, they're on fire. Their oxygen is down. They have no weapons. Are we really going to accept this generous bribe? While we're at it, check that medibay. For fuel is indeed quite sweet. But Krebsik insists we do not accept surrender. Kill them, kill them, says Monk. We reject. We continue our assault. We heal up because we're that awesome. We do not fire yet. In fact, why don't we get some better eyes on the situation? <laughs> That's hilarious. It's almost unbearably hilarious. We can kill him dead in the patented one-shot technique. The pirates are all dead, leaving the ship dead in space. We scrounge what we can, which is less fuel, before we contact the former prey. And upon closer inspection, you realize the ship was under uh, under attack was a rebel scout. It's too damaged to put up much of a fight. Now here's a real question of backbone for our own crew. Do we destroy the rebels, or do we delay the pursuing fleet? I mean, who knows what good salvage it'll have. But we'd get an extra jump if they delayed the fleet. It's... Honestly, I would personally destroy the ship because it's... You don't know if you're going to get anything with an extra jump, but you know you're going to get something from salvaging here. Destroy the ship. They are rebels. We need scrap. Well, amen to that. You strip the ship of anything useful, leave its crew to hope help arrives. That's, that's a bit savage. Oh well, still pretty good for us. I'd love to get more power, but we are not doing so well on scrap. Two stores in close proximity. That's not very useful for me unless I sell that drone. Which I might choose to do. Ah, oh, that's annoying. We would really like that uh, drone control, especially if it comes with defense. We're swimming in drones. Repair arm. Repairs your hull every time you collect scrap, but reduces scrap. No, 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 no. Troubling. I really want that. But even if we sell this, we will not have the money. We'll have 69, whereas we need 85. Combat drone 1 is not really worth holding on to. You make a good point. That's still not enough to get drone control. Just, just really want. We could jump away and try our luck. Because I do really want that drone control. Or we could just try the other store. But we could try here first, then the store. Or here and here first, then the store. Fuel? Nah, we're good on fuel, says the man with six fuel. The rebel ship moves in to engage. You tend to open communications, but realize the futility of that action. It's run by AI. Oh, and a meaty one at that. It can penetrate our shields, and it has a laser. We're going to want to dodge, and dodge well. I mean, we don't have to dodge perfectly right now, but we will in a moment. Get those shields online. Phew. All right, we gotta take them down a notch. We gotta take them down several notches. That's very, very lucky for us. That beam is deadly. Question is, what do we take down? I don't want them dodging, I don't want them shielding. There's a lot of things I don't want them doing. But worst of all, we can't have them attack us with that beam. Once our mighty uh, artillery beam takes them down a notch, that will be good. That's what I was afraid of. They had some pretty good dodging on their side, most likely. And they keep delaying us with that. It's okay, I'm confident we can do this with minimal casualty. As long as they don't get that other gun back online, we're good. A 
Okay, and even if they do, it's too late now, because artillery beam is go. Mm, at least they can't dodge now. And now they can't shield, and now they can't live. Jake, does your crew really need oxygen? Eh, need is a relative term. What does an upgraded artillery beam do? It takes 10 seconds less to uh, charge up for each upgrade. But of course it uses more power. Tricky, isn't it? Goodbye, auto scout. And thanks for that scrap. We could probably get that, uh, that tool now. Uh, the drone control, but now I really want to see what the other store has. Hmm. Discover a number of destroyed rebel automated ships. Delicious. Hmm. Real, real decisions to be made now. Do we get the drone controls, or do we take, uh, do we spin the wheel? Drone controls will keep us safe from rockets forever. Yeah, we could always check out both. Do you have good experiences with the artillery beam, Jake? I like it. I really prefer attrition fighting in this game. No, I've shot my crew to death with it unintentionally so many times. Store, two jumps, distress, exit. I could go store, store, but the thing is I really want to... Might be something amazing in here, but think about it. What would be there that we would actually buy? There's nothing that we can sell to get extra anything. Now if we buy that, uh, hmm, drones are not drones. We've got so many drone parts, and defense against rockets is very, very useful. Check the other store, then hit the drone control store. We won't have time to do both. But Captain insists that we check other store, so I can lay the blame on him quite nicely. No drones, but we do have clones. That's a damn shame. A lot of this is a damn shame. Could always hack, though. Hacking is not something we often do. But they cost drones, and they're extremely useful, and it's not something we use often. Might be worth our time to uh, to grab a hacking system. The disruption to, say, shields can be very impressive. Yeah, you know what? We'll do it. Because it's something we don't often do. Otherwise, there's not much else worth buying, except maybe a touch of fuel. Otherwise, I think we're pretty good to get moving. Nice and cheap, and we can power down something really nastily with it. And we need extra power for all this stuff that we're doing. Let's keep on moving. We've got a stress signal to check out. Although we can do one, two, three and get out of here. One, two... Yeah, we'll be good. Doing the old finger measurements. We might be good. But we could take a risk-free run around the back, so that's what we're going for. The distress signal from the system is coming from a slug vessel under attack by the Lanius. The slugs beg for assistance as the Lanius tear into their hull plating. Do we attack the Lanius ship, or do we leave these slugs to their fate? I think the last time we did this, the slugs were grateful, which surprised me massively. The entire crew is unanimous in their decision. We attack the Lanius ship, and I sure wish we had some, uh... Some defense drone right about now. Well, they can't get through this at the very least. So I think we're going to either power down their shields or their... Yeah, let's take down those shields so we don't have to get through them. Make it... make it go! Make it go! There we go. Nicely done. when you got no shield. That's probably exactly what they tried to do. And then... Cool. 
the nickel. The ship explodes, we get our drone back. And what do the slugs have to say? The slugs, taking advantage of the firefight, have fled the system so much for gratitude. Bloody slugs. Let's keep on moving. We have defense, Jake. Hack the weapons. They had a massive rocket launcher. We could not defend against that. You come across a Lanius ship in the process of absorbing a rebel automated scout. If you scare off the Lanius, you could probably make use of it. Do we fight this ship or do we simply leave them alone? Fight, fight, and more fight is what our people saying. Well, that's what we do. We power up, which quickly gets the attention of the ship. Okay, they want to hack us as well, which is kind of funny. If only we had, I don't know, a defense drone. We'll probably just hack them right back. But we will want double shields against what they have. They can still rocket us. But I think we will hack their shields out of existence. Oh! Seems we both had the same thought. Well. Well, damn. Okay, they weren't able to do much impact on us. We, however, can. Alright. Not much more I can do than that, but I will stop them from shooting us. Alright, guys. Dodge as best you can. Mm. I want to give them all the chance in the world to dodge here. No, and we won't be dodging anything at that rate. Uh, you can't help out with fixing that. You certainly can, though. And I can... Try to burst laser them some more. No, not happening. Okay. okay, return to your stations. Let's bring down those shields. And then what? I really don't like their weapons, but I don't like their shields either. Now nah, those weapons have got to go. Soon our super beam will take them down a notch, though, which is always welcome. Oh, that's very welcome. Sadly, though, they're charging up for a clean getaway, and there's very little we have to respond to that with. Other than, you know, taking down their shields and taking down their ability to... do anything, actually. Dodge that. Too good. Well, hot damn, it breaks apart. We inspect the automated rebel ship and we get an anti-combat drone for it. We were able to retrieve a significant amount of data about the surrounding beacons and then we scrap the ship. Wow, that was a really good haul. Really, really good haul. You know, our hacking would be a lot more powerful if we had more time with it. I want to upgrade it and get more power for it, but... But, but, but... There's a lot of things that I want to spend scrap on. We'd also like to repair ourselves up. There, all is well. It's a bit hard to get to and from the captain's helm, though. Is there a reason you shut yourself away so much, monk? Probably just working on your piloting, which is incredibly good. Mm, could do that. Then we could massively disable shields and just shoot to kill. Seems like a good idea. Time to upgrade artillery? Not yet. So, Alanius Merchant appears to have significantly improved the translator. You clearly understand the message, metal content more than sufficient. Does your ship care to exchange resources for our excess metal? That's a great trade right there. Almost 40 scrap for five of our drones. Or we could try to buy their translator, but we don't have the scrap for that. So, no, we better take the exchange. After the exchange is complete, they leave without a word. And we have lots to lots to play with now, 53. I mean, looking at what we can do, this is kind of our standard form, which is okay. We just have to micro this a bit. 
and I do hate microing. And I also don't like the artillery beam taking up all of our power there, but if it can in day. Well, we can kill and keep moving. So we detect a automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. We do love fuel, maybe the refueling people will give us some of that. Looks like they have a multiple ion can uh yeah, ion cannon. Which could remove our shields, but with our hacking we can remove them. The decision has been made, we intervene. Okay, wow, everybody loves hacking these days. I wonder what's best to hack out of them. Well, we won't be dodging anything today. At the very least, they can't do much with that. And we shouldn't have to waste our own everything on it. question is what we want to take down first, and I don't like them dodging, but I like them shielding even less. Okay. Also okay. Let's not have any more of those volleys, please. Oh, damn. Never mind that, I like that. Uh... Didn't I have shields once? Sometimes I'm wondering where they went. Well, we had to take some hits eventually, but that wasn't too costly. Get some extra fuel, get some extra scrap, and extra fuel and extra scrap, and another drone to send off to hack. Pretty lucrative everything so far. Maybe I'm going to regret buying all those missiles. We've got more than we know what to do with. Iron Relic's learning a lot about repairing, almost more than they're learning about shielding. Bugster's finally almost learned how to shoot a weapon. Otherwise, eh, everyone's doing okay. It's just a severe lack of crew here. Alright, onwards to the pirate controlled area. We have no other choice. <clears throat> it's a dangerous sector, so be careful. Well, I mean, there's a store straight away. How dangerous could it be? We'll go to the, uh, the unvisited location, then we'll check out the store. Seems a pretty good option for us. wonder where that store's got. Piracy results in negative social impact. Not permitted, says some NG ships. Okay. Really want to check that store, but I have nothing to. S no, I do! I have this that's no use to anybody. Drone control? I do love drone control. We can afford it now. But mind control? Well, not much use without a mind. Uh, without a landing party. And really, anti-drone? Come on. Well, defense drone's so good. Yeah, I, I love drone control. It's our final slot, but I think we can be sure about that. Drone control's just so damn good. Heavy on the drone usage, though. Very heavy. But it can save your bacon in a bad, uh, bad situation. Anti-drone might be useful. I mean, I struggle to think how, but it might be useful. I've never seen it used in any events. But I think I'd rather keep it around for a short while. We will no doubt run into future stores. We do not have the power to get this thing going. Well, it's situational. Let's just keep on moving. Finally, after months of waiting, someone has fallen into a trap. Well, they will not be able to get through our shields, although that uh, bomb teleporting can prove to be a nuisance. Shouldn't need to hack anything on this guy, though. It's a war of attrition and we will win. Depends what that, uh, that bomb is, though. If it's an ion bomb where it targets our shields, then we'll be in a bad spot. 
So in the interest of that, let's take down their shields first, I guess. <laughs> let's see if they can even hit us first. These guys are no good, but they are good at dodging, so let's try and take care of their piloting. Hmm. Well, I'm really glad we have this War of Attrition cannon on our side. Though, bombs that teleport in never do uh, hull damage, so we don't have to fear these guys at all. Unless they take down our shields again. Which they are totally not doing. Slightly worse at dodging, at least. You made your point, we are beaten. Take these and leave us to our shame. Two fuel, one drone, 13 scrap. The question is, do we really accept surrender? Uh, that's my question to you guys. Interesting artillery placement. Yeah, it just draws a line. You don't even know where. Kill them, never accept surrender. Well, I guess we're not accepting that then. We are, however, dodging everything like uh, like a pro. We need... We pretty badly need some much better... Uh, Offensive capabilities here. Like I said, if these guys had targeted our shields, we'd be in a pickle. Oh wow, 29 scrap for our troubles. Well, well worth it. But we haven't found anything offering more weaponry except that pike beam. No crew, no more weapons. But, you know, with hacking and drones, this is not a bad setup, really. Just gotta hold out. We did go for early shields, after all. Now, to get to the exit, you either take the high road or the low road. Low road offers a lot more options here. But we could go one, two, three, and explore a lot more. Small research station orbits a nearby Pulsar. That's a problem, but it should be able to annihilate their overshield. If we're lucky. They can get through our shields, which is terrifying. So let's try to dodge as best we can. And, well... Oh, we cannot get through those shields unless the uh, Pulsar takes it out. Although the artillery beam can get through it. Troubling. That's more troubling. That's even more troubling. We're in for a very, very bad bit of luck here. An extremely bad bit of luck here. Right, I'm gonna have to uh, take care of their weapon systems or their shield systems. their shields and I can just shoot the weapons. Jeez, that's doing some damage. Okay, eliminate those shields please. Why, why are we not, oh, they smacked that. Troubling. That's better. Still though, this is a pretty bad situation to be in. You've clearly bested us, we merely request our lives. Well, their everything is shot. Do we accept surrender from these guys that hit us so hard? Can you jump, Jake? We could've, but... I know. That's a fine jump from a fight. Krebzig is wavering. He says, maybe we should accept. And then he goes, nah. Do not accept. Well, the crew is chanting that we reject, so we're gonna destroy them over here. Be much 
much of them left now. Let's get things uh, repaired up while we can. That was fortunate. Free fuel is nice, but we would really love a store. Because our hull is almost at a third. Iron Relic has just about leveled up when it comes to fixing things, which is nice. Let's uh, let's just jump while we can. We're in too much danger here. Greetings, friend. We've heard tale of your quest and are here to offer our valuable services. Delay rebels, scout the sector, fight them, or we're in no need of their services. Looks like, from a glance, they wouldn't get through us. These are two simple, heavy uh, lasers. So our two shields would eat it right up. They have a bomb teleporter. That's uh, that's pick and mix right there. What's it going to be? Fight, fight, and fight. And yes, I have Lanius B, Clogman. Guess we're fighting. Mercenaries are worse than rebels. Oh no, that's a double shot heavy laser. They can get through us. Well then. Still not sure what to do with this one. I mean, they can get through us, doesn't mean they will. We just need to dodge one in three shots. And a lot depends on what their little bomb thing does. Still, I don't want them getting any clean shots here. As if that does anything. We're both relying on each other uh, failing to dodge here. Okay, well, no one's not dodging that. But in a war of attrition... Hmm. Alright, we kind of need that oxygen, don't we? It's better. That's a problem. Get that fixed up on that shoot. The oxygen wasn't done. Place, at least for a little bit. Iron Relic is in huge danger right now. Alright, the weapons are down. However, we came out of that alive, if not unscathed. It's important to get you healed up right now. Don't want you dead. Confident with that. Heal Iron Relic, you don't need oxygen. No, we, we really do need oxygen. We need those shields working though, and we need those weapons on the go. They're probably about to fix theirs. They have just now fixed theirs. Oh, damn, we needed that. Didn't want to have to hack them, but I may have to. Just said I. Uh, oh god. Alright. They're getting hacked. They're getting hacked to hell and back. Fair this fight. I hope they run out of. Uh... Okay, they have finally run out of missiles. Either that or I knocked it out there. Alright. That's what I think of all your shooting me. Alright, 
goodbye once again, shields, and this time... No coming back. Take everything we have, let's both forget this happened. I heard somebody saying that the music was too loud, so we'll knock that down a bit. Can we accept this offer? It's very generous with five fuel. But Krebsig enforces the do not surrender mantra. We do not accept surrender, backs up the captain. Well, they did do a lot to us, so we will have to claim our revenge. Is that really all they have? Wow. Savage folks here. Yeah, try fixing that, NG man. Wow. That was unfortunate. We could have gotten a lot more out of accepting. But we do not accept surrender. That's our mantra. Plenty of scrap, though. We've been in a tough situation due to lack of punching power here. We could always make the artillery beam better. We don't have better weapons right now. Well, we'll at least have a little bit more power going forward. Maybe we should explore all of the options down here, though. A heavily damaged ship is drifting near the beacon. You receive a communication. Hello, nice of you to drop by. As you can see, our ship has seen better days. Yours is looking nice. I think we'll be taking it from you. Okay, there's a lot of them. There's a hell of a lot of them. Okay, NG guy, you gotta get out of there. And we never healed up after the last fight either. That's troublesome. Right, you can man the doors, you can get fighting, you can get fighting. You can also go towards the fighting there. That's not the doors. Uh huh. And we might die, depending how we play this one. They really want to take down our shields. I'm glad we super upgraded them there. Get in there, divert fire for a short bit, and have them die. They really hate our shields. Alright, Monk, show them what you're made of. Phew. Alright, Iron Relic, since you're the repairy one, you try to max that out as best you can. That was risky. Nobody died, nothing got destroyed. Why the hell is the NG fighting and not manning doors? I mean, he doesn't take any more damage, he just deals less damage, and that's fine. Let's open the doors, get everywhere breathing properly. And if we're at 90% oxygen, then I'm happy enough. Everybody's fully healed. Distress beacon. I love doing my distress beacons, but we'll hit that up anyway. Glad we got our shields up. A pirate ship was laying in wait in the asteroid field. It immediately moves into fight, and I immediately want my defense drone on the go. And I'm gonna need to hack those shields. And what is with everybody having insane shields right now? This is dangerous for us. I'm gonna have to defend here. That flak is what's going to give me some issues, I'm pretty sure. Okay, they let off a huge amount there, which is going to be a problem. And I'm going to have to hack those shields, as I said before, so hack away. Hmm. 
Wow. Even at minimum uh, engines, you're still pretty good there. Okay. Remove their ability to shield, please. Oh, no. Whew. Still gonna get our uh, ourselves rocked in bad ways, but still. Hull is indeed critical. Everybody's just going to have to hold their breath here. Flat cannon plus asteroid field equals things dead, Jake. You think I don't know that? Because I know that. Uh, what's that? Pew pew. So oh yeah, we have no oxygen. Please fix that before we all die. Okay. Down they go. And once it's completely gone, which it's about to be... So two are their weapons. Okay. Managed to get through that. Their death is inevitable. Do we accept that paltry offer of two uh, two rockets, a drone part, and 14 scrap? Or do we simply never accept surrender? Defense drone is the MVP of this fight. Yeah, without it, we probably would have been shot with three rockets and be dead by now. So yes. Krebsig insists they must suffer, and we reject. There we go. Mm, three fuel and a lot of scrap for our troubles. But still no store. We have to hold out that it's down here. Why are we not breathing? It's just so awesome. Where did it go? Also, we're getting a lot of uh, a lot of asteroids heading towards us because of the red tinge in the background. You can tell this is a particular particularly dangerous asteroid field, but we're good. I feel like either you have a clone bay and teleporter, or you fight tooth and nail to get to sector eight. I can't remember many Jake victories that weren't boarding. Says DCG KTAC. Well, let's see the first then, shall we? Captain of the ship claims he can provide services, as long as you've got the scrap. He's got quite a lot of offensive capabilities on him. And again, we are really good. And scouting would not really help us out here, so... Krebsig says no need. So people are not willing to take the fight now. Admittedly, we can only take four points of damage, and they would dish that out pretty easily. Iron Relic says don't fight. Monk wants him to scout. Hull to Lotus scout. Find that store. It, I mean, we're going to go to that direction anyway, but uh, if we delay them, we'd be able to uh, get extra jumps in. Oh well, Captain says scout. Nobody else says uh, anything else unanimously. I guess we're scouting that sec. Oh man, that's so expensive. Hold on, let's look at this. No need, no need, no need. Sorry, Captain, but you're not able to rouse up your crew here. We have no need of their services. Oh, jeez. Well, the store ain't there. Let's go towards the distress bacon. Kind of wishing I'd spent the scrap I had. So, you've encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as though it's been fleeing the rebel advances and ran out of fuel. It's still active, but we're not sure anyone's on board. Do we hail them, or do we ignore these refugees? What's it gonna be, mighty team? Hail them, hail them, we need to help. Very well. So they offer us a very, very lucrative trade. Don't know why they need rockets, but hot damn. 
That's some returns on our rockets. We need that store badly. And is there anything worth spending all this uh, scrap on? Other than maybe some power bars. Oh boy. At first it appears you've arrived in an empty station, but a ship, pi ship appears going, Haha, I am the dread pirate taco. Prepare to die. They can get through us. We need to be able to dodge that. Otherwise, I think we're taking down their uh, their shields. It's getting kind of expensive using all these drones. Maybe we should try one volley without. Depends how good they can uh, they can hit us here and how aligned these two things are. Well, not doing anything with that. We should be good. Remove their shields, remove their ability to dodge, and then everything is good. Maybe the other way around. Maybe we should take care of that. No, no, we've got the good old uh, artillery beam that'll come and save us. was pathetic RT beam. Tucko is a reference here, although I'd be lying if I said I knew what. This is some slow going. As long as we can keep desyncing their weapons, we're good. At the very least, Bugster is learning how to shoot. close for comfort there. Come on, super beam. Wow, these guys are tough. Well, not so tough anymore. Oh, wow, they're getting real tough. Oh, we can't, uh, we can't do much against them now. Hmm. They could kill us if they got another shot in. Hate to waste our efforts on their weapons. fire there as well. Must mean there's fire elsewhere. That fire needs to be put out or else it's going to damage us pretty badly. Oh, okay. I see how it is. Hmm. But how is this going to be? So the hacking didn't actually, uh, didn't really do much for us. Where's that fire going to now? Okay, it seems to be gone. Okay, you've made your point. We are beaten. Take these and leave us to our shame. Six fuel, two drone parts, 16 scrap. That's a hell of a haul. But do we take it? Jake, the hacking won't help if you don't click the activate button. Yeah, we didn't need to. None of their attacks were synced up to hurt us. So there was no point. That's an amazing offer. Truly amazing. Do we accept it or not? The captain says we do not accept. It's up to all three of the crew to reject this offer. Or accept it, I guess. Bugster wants to accept. Relic wants to take it. <laughs> Jake, this is an economical choice. Okay, mutiny it is. We're accepting that offer from Dread Pirate Tucko. And our ship is, uh, how you say, boned. 
least now we can get a good overview of how boned it is. And there's no store. Ah, <laughs> glad we didn't scout this sector to find a whole load of nothing. We need to get out of here on the double. But, but there might be other things there. We just don't have the defenses to stand up to anything right now. We've got to make it to a store. Get out, find store. We're on it. The question is, do we go to an abandoned sector or to a slug-controlled nebula? Both are extremely dangerous for us, and both are extremely unlikely to have a store. Well, I think all places have at least one, but... Civilian ones have up to three or so. What's it gonna be? Krebzig wants slugs. Monk wants the abandoned. Mind control would give us a lot of issues since we don't have a cloning bay. Well, whilst you make that decision, I know somebody who needs to get themselves healed up. Okay, we're split, so we have to go with Captain's decision, and Captain wants the Abandoned Sector. Achievement unlocked Artillery Mastery. What does that even mean? It means there's a store. But we would forgo the dis- no, we're going to the store. We need that healing. Hopefully it's still two, but it's probably three. The end is upon us. The Metal Demons have come to absorb your very being, but it's not too late to prepare for the worst. Damn, three a pop. It's going to cost us everything we have. And there's a shield overcharger. I do like those. Oh well. We are driven by need rather than desire here. But let's get that hull. We knocked the combat drone earlier, but man, we are so boned without uh, any offensive capabilities here. This anti-drone is really not doing much for us. We'll keep a hold of it because it might someday help us. And we have a chance of getting out distress bacon. So a missile shoots across your bow, and the jump completes. Your scanners reveal a ship with pirate markings, pursuing an unknown vessel. Damn, we weren't expecting company. Stay out of this, and you could profit. So what you're saying is, as long as you behave and keep your nose out of my business, you'll be okay. That's not very good. Monk insists that we kill pirates. Krebsig is tempted by easy money, but look at them. They can't penetrate our shields, and one defense drone will take care of that, no problem. Bugster insists that we attack, so we attack. That's a single fire, that's single fire, and that's a rocket. So I guess we are defense droning our way to victory. Assuming that it can actually hit. Oh, did not expect borders. Did not expect Lanius borders. Well, we didn't need oxygen anyway. Kill it and kill it fast. Keep the doors open. We need that oxygen flowing. Good job. Hey, f for all we know, they're going to bring on more, uh, more borders and we just kill them all. As long as we exhaust their... Uh... Hold on, if they're Lanius. Rockman, tell me more. Oh, oh shoot. Well, there goes our defense drone. Again. They could potentially board us some more, but I don't want to be hit by more of those. they have a cloning bay as well. Hmm. Well, they're trying the best they can. Oh, right. Damn right are they trying their best again. And if they can keep cloning and attacking us all they want, then that's going to provide a lot of problems for us. That's going to provide some problems for us.
Hmm. Gotta hand it to the way these guys operate, it's very clever. But they're out of rockets, they can't hurt us anymore except with boarding. But they can really hurt us with some boarding. Well, better remain ready and vigilant for it. Maybe I could knock this out so they can't heal anymore. There's a lot of annoying things that their ship can do to us. And we just lack so much offence. Oh, I thought they were out of rockets. Well, they are out of healing for their crew, so that's nice. Not healing, rather, regeneration. Oh, we can... Yeah, no, it doesn't matter. He's... Uh, he'll get cloned. If I could just start a fire, I could kill everybody on board. It's a low chance, but I'm willing to take it. Because as long as they stop rocketing me, or we dodge every rocket they have, we'll be good. Alright, they are powering up their FTL to get away, but uh, check that fire in the clone bay. Trying to put it out. And we just set fire to them even more. Okay, we have a good chance to get the, the stack wipe here. As long as they don't make a getaway, which they might. But they're busy trying to repair their everything. Just need to keep killing Sam there. Alright, Sam's almost dead. Don't know where they're getting all those rockets. I also don't know how I'm managing to dodge them all so well. Okay, let's not accidentally kill them all here. I also don't know why they're tr trying to... or they're not trying to get away here. Okay, now they are. Pop he goes. And the other one just needs to pop as well. <laughs> Our previous offer was not good enough. Let's improve it. They are just about dead, and if we just nail this one shot, then we have the entire party. So, I ask our crew, do we accept the generous bribe and leave? Or do we continue our assault? Kill them, kill them, kill them dead. Yes, we're killing them dead then. Oh shoot, jump imminent. No! Wow, that plucky guy managed to dodge us well. Oh well, what does the damaged ship have to say? Absolutely nothing. Wow. That was, uh... That was savage. <laughs> well played, chat, says Boxup. Yeah, I can't believe we still only have four original members. Normally we get flooded with crew. Oh well, that was unlucky, but we just gotta keep our chin up and carry on. The Federation encrypted signal is being broadcast from a nearby planet. Do we investigate, or do we think that it could be a trap? <sighs> Krebsig and Monk both insist we do an away party. And uh, it's out of supplies, but they're telling us about another secret base. Well, we got to get on that, don't we? Oh, it's over there. Do we have a way of getting there? One, two, three, four, five. That's annoying because it's right next to the exit, giving us no way to explore these. But I want to check out a secret base. 
Right after we check the distress beacon. The cockpits light up with warning signals. You're being targeted by a nearby ship. The distress call is a lure. Prepare for a fight. Okay, that's a really good ion blaster, and that's the kind of beam you don't want to have to deal with in your day-to-day -day life. Like, you really don't want to deal with that. That'll hurt us bad unless we take him down. We'll be taking him down, then. That was almost fortunate, but we didn't manage to take down their uh, their beam, so we're going to feel some pain here. Eesh, just a little at least. That'll be a while before they get it back online. That weapon, for sure, but... Nah. Fire, you say? Nah, they'll have it taken out in no time. I feel we are neglecting our artillery beam. How did it even end up with nothing on it? Boy, everyone's trying to run away from us. Uh, I fear we're not going to be able to get them down in time. Unless we get a lucky shot on this and they only have one uh, one power on it. Also... Oh, jeez. We're having bad luck today. Although maybe if I had had this working we wouldn't have had uh, any issues at all. Slim pickings. That's what I call this run. Also, it's Pulsar O'Clock. There appears to be some sort of research station near a Pulsar. It's hard to tell. Portion of it has been melted. Oh, wow. So they've got mind control. They've got incredible amounts of everything. And they can teleport on us. And they have teleported on us. Hmm. Troublesome. That's very troublesome. No cloning bay, at least. This is really very dangerous for me. Or rather, for my crew. So, what do we need to take down? Their weapons are a real pain. Okay, we have no shields whatsoever. The Lanius are trying to destroy our poor Mantis man. Did I mention we have no shields? That's not all we don't have anything of. Oh, goodbye weapons. Goodbye hacking. And on the plus side, their shields are down as well, but... We might need some defense drone in this time of need. And maybe some healing for our poor team. Hmm, difficult. Goodbye everything, says Clogs, man. Okay, and we're having to fight each other in the medibay here. Okay, well at least they've gone. Alright, back to positions, people. We can win this yet. I'm just not exactly sure how, but we'll find a way. Our doors don't work, so that fire is going to take down the artillery beam. And they keep mind hacking us. Jeez, I'd rather you just didn't die than anything else. Alright, take down those shields, not that they existed anyway, and stop them from shooting us. Oh boy, our everything is about to die.
Also, the oxygen is gone. You think you can handle being in there with uh, no anything? The Calm system receives a video feed of the enemy ship's crew waving small makeshift white flags. It appears they've taken research about your cust uh, culture's custom quite literally. Do we accept their offer, or do we not accept surrender? We turn to our crew, who clearly have the upper hand in this battle. In this one case, Jake, we will accept surrender, says Monk. Wow. Going against his own rules. Ah, and they're just nailing us once for good luck there. Okay, right. We still have fires. We need those doors functional. The oxygen is flowing once again. I want some intel on our on our ship right now. They took down the doors. Oh boy. Okay, you can stamp out fires pretty well. Do that there. At least we can see again. Stamp those fires then. Why are they still mind controlling us? Why are they still fighting us? Oh! Oh! Oh my. Ah, that was a bit of a misclick now, wasn't it? Oh well. Down goes there everything else. That's kind of funny in a way. I should be lucky worse things didn't happen there. That's been known to happen. There we go. Jake knew the only true answer. Didn't let the crew betray themselves. Ah, see? I totally knew what I was doing there, maybe. We got truly ravaged there, though. That's quite disappointing. But... There we go. Shields back online. We just need our... Uh, our engines to get us the heck out of here. And then we are gone. A merchant ship is docked to the Lanius transport. You message them to see if they need any help. Turns out they've been studying the Lanius' ability to reshape metal. Do we inquire or do we leave them alone? Reminds me of Tango did Ally England. Let's try and not remember that. Ah. Inquire, Jake, yeah. Maybe they have some weapons for us. How would that sound? What are you doing there? Okay, we haven't the foggiest idea how it works. They appear to meld part of their bodies to the metal and reshape it. They've been willing to demonstrate. If you have some extra metal, you'd like converted into something. Do we craft an augmentation, a weapon, or a drone schematic? We're pretty short on firepower right now. I'm just throwing that one out there. 50 scrap for a weapon and weapon. So Monk and Krebsik both wanting the weapon. Let's go for it, and we get a... Repair burst. Ugh. Fully repairs a system. Well, okay. Okay. Luck, I think, is not on our side here. And we don't even have the scrap to heal ourselves at the store. Okay, so pursuit course catching up with this rebel ship. They have an enemy combat drone, but they also have... Okay, we can deal with this, thankfully. Can't deal with those shields, but our super artillery beams certainly can. We just need to defend ourselves against the rocket and have good luck that they don't manage to get two shots on us. 
Uh, we got good. Uh, well, we got lots of good stuff. Might as well learn about shooting while we're here. Well, Iron Relic's learning about uh, about sorting the shields, and that's pretty useful in a way. <sighs> okay, there goes their shields, kind of. That's nice. Now they can't dodge, so we can take those shields down even more. War of Attrition is on our side here. Now, I'd like to know a bit more about what's going on inside their ship, though. Okay, no fires, and they are pretty well kitted out for everything we throw at them. Also, again, MVP defense drone, because those look like three hull damage rockets. Somebody is saying, I hope the Federation base heals us. It's possible that it can. We're still going to get some healing, I think, though. Oh man, they're trying to get away. We need to take this down. Thank God. Take everything. We'll both forget this happened. Are we going to accept that offer, or do we simply not accept surrender? What's it going to be? Interesting choice, because we they might get their shields back up and we'll be unable to uh, to destroy them. And then they will jump away. Accept surrender, Jake. I don't think we can finish them in time. Krebsig says no. Iron Relic says no. So unless... Uh, Bugster joins... Accept, remember last time. Alright, we accept that offer. So we get a bit of scrap. We have a... God, they might repair us. And we might not make it to them. Okay, we're doing the quest. Forget the store. Live on the wild side here. You find the planet at the indicated coordinates. Your intel scans show the planet to be barren and devoid of life, but you get a prompt reply when you broadcast on Federation frequencies. Nice to see friends. Thanks for the scrap. Thanks for the drone which won't help. Uh, yeah, we had a choice between that and the store. I still think we took the right one. Jake, you accidentally clicked on accept. Well, Captain and Bugster both wanted to accept. Perhaps they want to intervene here. We've got a rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. Do we defend or do we simply avoid this conflict? Uh, our mighty hacking can get through those shields, no problem. The hacking could have gotten through the other guy's shields as well, though. So we could have destroyed them even after they uh, tried to offer us surrender. Intervene, Jake, and upgrade our damn artillery. Roger that. So they've got two drones trying to kill us here. Attack drone and beam drone, and a double attack uh, thingamajigger. Dare I say it, anti-drone will be pretty helpful here. And also, dare I say it, we have to take down their shields. You want to actually hit that thing, useless drone? Wow, you can destroy... Oh, that's a firebomb. Awesome, I want that. Even though it's pretty damn useless. This is the worst drone I've ever seen. It's just so bad.
Alright, I'll be right back to positions here. Stop dodging me. Okay, fire in the oxygen bay is also a pretty bad sign, especially since that's going to be more hull damage. Come on, get lucky. Alright, we salvage what we can and we get even more. Harass non-stop, they say. Well, aren't they glad we're around? Okay, so anti-drone has defied my expectations in how bad it can truly be, but it is awful. So is our hull. Let's just everybody breathe a little easier. We are starving here. Yeah, I could do quite a lot for this. Get some real offensive capabilities. But we don't know what's coming yet, so we should do the jumps first. We actually have the time to investigate this and come back. And we certainly have the fuel, so we will do that. However, I want a bit faster uh, artillery beam since we have nothing else offensive. What difficulty are you on? You're getting a lot of scrap. Hard mode, but we have a scrap recovery arm. Upon arrival, you are immediately surrounded by chaos. The planet's anti-ship battery is firing on a number of Lanius ships. And uh, we're assisting them, apparently. Oh dear lord, one, two, three, four shots, and the halberd beam, and uh, something I need a defense drone for. Uh, no boarding party, thankfully. Man, I am almost out of drones here. This is getting daft. We've got to take this thing down. do that, otherwise we're dodging now. Hold it. There. Damn. Mistimed that pretty badly. Oh, no, <laughs> mistimed that as well. Mistiming everything. dodge that, we're going to put everything into dodging, we're going to drain those shields properly. Oh, well, that is pretty proper. And then those weapon systems, those cannot afford to keep going. And defense drone just watches us get hammered again. There we go. That's the end of you. And it's almost the end of us, in a hilarious manner. Ship breaks apart, we salvage what we can when the opportunity arises for a decent amount of scrap. And we better leave these guys to their own devices. And we get a free jump here. Into either Mantis Controlled or Mantis Controlled and unidentified or unidentified. So it's either up or down again with no real no, no real way of knowing what the difference is between our choices. What was that about the ASB doing mu not doing much? It shot one hole through their weapon systems. It helped us out a fair bit there. Still, where are we going to go? Relic wants down, Krebsic wants up. Where's it going to be? <laughs> Can't believe you made it out. The dice say down, says Monk. Well, down we go. Into the Mantis. Border parties that we're not prepared to deal with. Make sure this, yeah man, what a joker. Uh, right, we're probably going to wish we had even faster artillery beam on our side. Maybe even some better shields, but we don't have the power for everything. We have such bad everything. 
Well, it's our most offensive weapon we have. We're going to have to keep it powered up. Jake, repair Medibay. Yeah, we should do that. Twenty percent faster repair. Yeah, he's a machine. His relic. Still no store. Okay, so we're dead, and this is our graveyard. Who knows why Mantis would venture so close to the sun? Perhaps it makes for more of a challenge. Yeah, they are equipped for this. Although all they got is eye on, all we need to do is defend against them and we're good. But that means we also need to have... Hmm. 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 I have something that resembles an idea here. But it might backfire horribly. Depends how extensive the fire damage is. Oh, they can board us as well, that's a problem. Hmm. can survive this. And we have autopiloting, so let's do it this way. Then, since you're the weakest, you have the weakest stand. Please don't destroy my sensors, I need those. We're gonna pray for fortunate stuff here. Wait, why, why is this not building up? We should have auto. Oh, it's auto-evasion. Snap. Well, get in there. We need out. And we need out fast. Oh, God! Yeah, this stuff can do damage. might not hurt us, but it probably will. Ah! Pretty savage. Pretty damn savage. One last explosion marks your fate as your ship is torn apart. Well, that was very unfortunate, but I guess it just goes to show that the monk is not suited as captain on one of our journeys here. We'll be back again later, not today of course, with uh, another run of Into the Airlock. I think this is pretty fun, we might even get through all the ships at this rate. So uh, be around if you want to be the next captain. I'll have a couple more streams going on today I rather think, but that's all me from for FTL. I'll be back in an undefined amount of time, we'll call it shortly. So nice try Bugster, nice try Krebsig and Iron, but... It wasn't enough, you need to be well led for one of these. Just got it.